Hi, my name's Lee. I've had type 1 diabetes for over 20 years. Um, in that time, I've continued to use multiple daily injections to treat uh, my diabetes. I usually do about eight injections a day. That's my bolus uh, meal injections, my basal injections, and then a few corrective doses throughout the day if I need them. After injecting for 20 odd years, I do know that I have a few lipo, hypertrophy uh, spots around my tummy. So I check for them regularly just to make sure that I'm not injecting into those sites and causing myself any variations in, in my blood sugars. Um, I do tend to rotate my sites as much as I can. So I'll start my week perhaps here around the back of my uh, tummy where I can pinch some fat and then I'll use a grid system where I work my way around moving the sites through the week until I get back around to this side. I do use my um, upper buttock areas and I sometimes use the back of my arm here where there's a little bit of fat obviously not where I'm wearing a, a sensor or any tech um, and I tend not to use my legs I don't have much fat in my legs sometimes I can pinch enough fat to do a, a small dose but I, I tend to steer away from from my legs and just use this area and, and the top of the buttocks so in terms of looking for hypo uh, lipohypertrophies I test myself at home every week and I use some hand gel because it makes it a little bit easier to move your fingers around and feel for the lumps. So I'll start probably in the most common places and like most people it's not always easy to inject when you're in places like the office, at work, in public places. So you go for the easy areas, which is around here. You can lift your shirt up, open a few buttons and inject quickly. The downside of that is you end up with lumps in those areas, or you can do. So using the hand gel, this is quite a thin one, I'll try not to get it everywhere. I'll put some gel on, get it nice and uh, slippery there, and then just massage the area gently like this and you can if there is a an area there where there's a, a bit of a lipo you can tend to feel it it's, it's like a, a a hardening of the subcutaneous level and I know that I've got one there um, and similarly, I know I've got one on this side, but, so I tend to avoid those areas when I inject, but I do check every week to make sure that I'm not creating any more areas. This is obviously easier to do at home, not in your work clothes. And I always pay closer attention to this area because this is where I tend to inject when I'm at work because it is a bit easier. So, and you can go down as far as this because I do inject right the way down. It gives me more opportunity to rotate the injection sites. course the other downside of this is you end up with a lot of gel all over here so as you can see it's just moving the fingers around massaging the areas where you inject and just feeling for any changes in the subcutaneous level and every now and again I, I, I can feel a change there's a little lump there, I can feel the edge of the lump 
and then just a little bit of hardening. So I steer away from injecting on those sites. There we go. I think most of that area is clear. And of course, after years of injecting, it does get more and more difficult to uh, find areas or avoid injecting in the same place regularly. Okay, and I would continue to do that all the way around the area where I inject, um, back of the arms, and even though I don't inject very often in my legs, I will still check those areas to make sure that I haven't got any lumps there. So when I inject, I'm not going to experience any problems uh, with my insulin uptake. Okay, I think that's it, Darren.